What a Catch, Part 58, A Miraculous Ladybug Fan Fiction If you have not heard the previous 57 parts of this story, you can find a link to them in the description box below. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to stay up to date on the latest parts of this story, and if you have, make sure to give this video a thumbs up in support of more fan fiction. Adrian felt Marinette slip her hand underneath his and held himself still. He realized that, most likely, she thought he was asleep. Once he heard her breathing get heavy, he opened his eyes to her sleeping innocently beside him. He fought the temptation to lean over and kiss her forehead, and instead closed his eyes to enjoy the Parisian sun for a few more minutes before sitting up. The peace of the moment was a bit ironic. The day would be anything but peaceful once he got off this couch. He had to fight Hawk Moth without a miraculous after all. He thought about what she said and wondered if, had their roles been reversed, he would have done the same thing. If he had a crush on Adrian Agrest, dream boy, and was insecure in self-identity, then maybe he could understand her a little more. But he wasn't her. He was a guy recovering from his misconceptions of what relationships should be like because his father spoke a different love language than he did. Marinette grew up surrounded in love, portrayed in what seemed to him to be every healthy, positive way possible. So how did she not know how to express her feelings healthily as well? But, despite it all, she was his most important person. Was he in love? He wasn't sure. He needed time to heal before he could answer that. Adrian thought he was, but too much was going through his head to know. Maybe he was just overly infatuated, or perhaps he was in love with a girl that didn't exist. Either way. It didn't matter. It was time to go. He carefully slid off the couch, careful not to wake Marinette, and peered into the kitchen to check the time. It was 11.30. Go time. As Adrian opened the door to leave, he turned back to take one last look at his partner delicately sleeping in the living room. He was planning on coming back in an hour or two to talk over the plan for fighting Hawk Moth, but for now, he had to set up the stage. Literally. And so, Adrian Agrest left, unaware that the next time he saw Marinette Dupang Chang, they would be in a different country. Thank you so much for listening. Part 59 will be available shortly. In the meantime, you can check out these other videos below for more fanfiction. I'll catch you next time.